so hello everyone my name is atish and topic of this learning video is uh, as you know that it is on largest eigen value and eigen vector okay and to get the largest eigen value and eigen vector for the given matrix we adopt we adopt a uh, iterative method or the another name of iterative method is relay power method okay so we have already seen this that uh, how to get the eigen value largest eigen value to be precise and eigen vector so let us start with uh, uh, this problem and uh, we'll follow the method that we have okay so we are going to start with this uh, matrix so let let a is equal to 25 1 2 1 3 0 2 0 minus 4 okay after writing down the given matrix you just have to start with the initial approximation so what what do you have to take let x 0 is equal to now as we are having a 3 by 3 matrix so we have to take the initial approximation as 1 0 0 transpose b d be the initial approximation be the initial approximation to x what is that x x is eigen vector okay now we have taken an initial approximation so let us go on finding out the values that is a x 0 so what is a a we have a matrix 25 1 2 then 1 3 0 then 2 0 minus 4 operating on the initial approximate factor 1 0 0 okay now you can solve this when you solve this you'll be getting a 3 by 1 matrix which is 25 this 1 3 0 into this you will getting 1 and 2 ones are 2 0 0 so this is it okay now as you all know that that we have to make this position as 1 so this can be made one by taking 25 outside and remain with one one divided by 25 0 0.04 and two divided by 25 0 0.08 okay and say this is to be lambda 1 x 1 okay where what is lambda 1 25 and what is x 1 this okay now we have to continue this process this is just the initial approximation next we will find out ax2 so how one can find sorry ax1 will find out so what is ax1 so we have to find ax1 as 25 1 2 then we have 1 3 0 and 2 0 minus 4 operating on what is it this one so which is 1 0 0.04 0 0.08 okay now solve this when you solve this you'll be getting some values okay and these values are 25.1062 and rest of the values that you have to calculate with the help of uh, with the help of calci so you can just write those things okay 25.2 okay it is 25.2 and then when you solve again you'll be getting 1.12 and 1 1.68 okay now again find out these values make this one so you can make this one by taking 25.2 common and we remain with one 0 0.0396 i hope this is correct uh, and last one is 0 0.0666 and say this is to be lambda 2 x 2 okay next we'll find out after x2 because the values of this and this are not uh, negligible difference between these two so go on finding out x2 so what is ax2 again i am writing the same 25 1 2 1 3 0 2 0 minus 4 operating on what are those values 1 0 0.0396 and 0 0.0666 666 okay 
So when you solve this, it will be getting 25.162 rather and then you solve this second row this column third row this column so we'll be getting the values 1.1188 and next value you're getting there is 1.7336 okay again i am telling you a remark like uh, do this uh, calculations precisely otherwise you will not be getting the answer in less number of iteration if any of the iteration or if any of the calculations goes wrong you have to your number of iteration will increase and then you may lose some patience and uh, will not be getting the solution okay now taking out 25.106 to outside we remain with 1 then 0 0.0445 and 0 0.0690 okay and say this is lambda 3 x 3 okay this is your second approximation now check the previous two difference between previous two is negligible or not if not then go on finding a thing so let us find out ax3 so this is ax3 so in ax3 again we have 25 1 2 then 1 3 0 then 2 0 minus 4 operating on operating on what 1 0 0.0445 and 0 0.0690 okay now again you solve this when you solve this again you'll be getting uh, some values like 25.1825 okay and then 1.1335 and again you'll be having a value 1.724 okay now you take this value common so 25.1825 common why we are taking this value common because we have to make this position as 1 so when you take this common, you remain with 1, 0 0.0450 and 0 0.0684. 684 is equal to lambda 4 x 4. Okay. Now after finding out this, again you check the previous step. Are these difference between these are negligible? No. So again we have to find out x4 and the next in next one two iteration we are getting we will get the answer because as you are getting see as you can see that the difference is getting smaller and smaller 25 1 2 1 3 0 then 2 0 minus 4 and then we have this vector x4 x4 vector is 1.0450 and then 0 0.0684 and when you solve this, you'll be getting a 3 by 1 matrix, which is the 3 by 1 matrix. I'm finding AX4. So it is 25.1818. And then we have the values 1.135. You can write 0 also. And it is 1.7264. Okay, now again take 25 common. So 1818 and then when you take this value common from here, we remain with 1, 0 0.0450 and 0 0.0685 I will be getting here and this is lambda 5 x 5. Okay, so we are getting this but as you can see now the difference between these two becomes negligible so we can terminate the process. If you want the exact value, so what you can do is you can do one more iteration to get the exact value. Okay, and uh, you can do it simply by writing AX5. So AX5 will operate on 1, 0 0.0450. Okay, and here it is 0 0.0685. And when you solve this, you'll be getting 25. 0 0.182 28.1820 okay and 1.135 
and here 1.7260 now you take this value outside so 25 182 when you take it common it remain as 1 okay now this divided by 25 182 you're getting 0 0.0450 and when you divide this number by 25 182 you'll be getting 0 0.0 six eight five which is lambda six x six now as you can see the difference between the first uh, the last two the current one and the previous one is comes out to be nearly zero so we can terminate the process and we got the eigenvalue and the eigenvector so if you want you can add a sentence or not you can directly write therefore therefore largest largest eigenvalue lambda is equal to what is it 25.182 and what is the largest and instead of largest i will write and the corresponding and the corresponding eigenvector and the corresponding eigenvector is equal to what is it corresponding eigenvector x is equal to 1 0 0.0450 0 0.0685 transpose so this is the required uh, largest eigenvalue and eigenvector and as we are uh, in the process of learning by me so there is one problem that you can solve to get the uh, to get this method nicely so just writing down the try this problem so question will be like find out the eigenvalues and eigenvector for the given matrix largest eigenvalue and eigenvector so we have one example which is 1 1 0 then we have 6 2 0 and then we have uh, 1 0 3 okay so this is one example you can take one more example if you want but it's a good practice to take two examples and the next problem is on 3 2 4 3 2 4 0 2 2 0 2 2 3 okay so these are the two examples that you have to solve at home i hope this video lecture is making sense so thank you for watching this learning video keep learning and keep growing thank you very much thank you